I'll be going through the answers quickly, so make sure your course book is open and in front of you, and please stop and rewind the video as you need to. So, got your book open in front of you? Are your answers in capitals? Want to know why the answers are the answers? Then let's go. For question number one, we can see that we've got the article before the gap, and then after the gap, we've got the noun to which that article refers, which means that we need an adjective to qualify, to modify that noun. What is the adjective form of the stem word extend? It is extensive. Question number two, wonderful standard language pattern. Article, adverb, adjective, noun. And that's exactly what we need here. We need an adjective which is both modified by the adverb and which we need to modify the noun. So if we have a look at the stem word, it's tolerate. What is the adjective form of tolerate? Tolerant. Question number three, we've both got an article and an adjective which are searching for their noun, which is, of course, what we've got to put into this gap. What's the noun of grow? Growth. Question four, language pattern. It seems plus adjective. And that's exactly what we need here. Also, we've got an adverb before the gap, highly, highly modified, or ad adverbs modify both adjectives and verbs. But because of the language pattern, it seems we know it can't be a verb. So it has to be an adjective. What's the adjective that we're looking for here? Well, with like, we can either say one or two. We can either say likely or we can say unlikely. Given the context with which we're presented, the answer is the negative form, which is unlikely. For question number five, it says, go beyond mm, discussions. We're automatically left to think, what kind of discussions? In other words, what is the adjective that modifies the noun? Well, if we have a look at the stem word, we can see it's hot. What's the adjective form of hot? Heated. Question number six, if we have a look at the language pattern, it says um, open what cannot be ruled out. So open is an adjective, adjectives modify nouns. And in this case, we need a noun because we don't know what can be ruled, uh, cannot be ruled out. Uh, so it's clear that we need a noun of some kind. But we also have to pay attention to the context because before that, it says petitions, letters, and even demonstrations. So we're talking about lots and lots of events, lots and lots of people. So it's clear the context means that we have to use a plural form of the noun. In other words, the answer is confrontations. Question number seven, simple language patterns. We've got will future form here. Will, doubtlessly, I think it is. So we've got an adverb, adverbs modify verbs. That also makes sense. So here we need an infinitive form of the verb. We've got strong as the stem word. So what's the verb? Strengthen. Question number eight, other people. The gap here is before people. People is a noun. What modifies nouns? Adjectives do. So what kind of people? Other what kind of people? Of course, it is other influential people. 